All right. Hello, everyone. I thought I'll just quickly make a video about uh, some of the new changes that have landed in MLX, more specific to um, how can you run large language models directly from Hugging Face um, Hub um, on your Apple MacBook um, or you know Apple Silicon devices. So first of all, what exactly is MLX? Um, MLX is an array framework. Uh, it's made by um, Apple, and this is it, it's made specifically to maximize uh, the use of Apple Silicon, right? Uh, so it um, MLX is essentially the Python API. Uh, it close um, it closely follows NumPy, and um, it has a fully featured C++ API. Um, it has high level packages like MLX.NN. Uh, MLX.optimizers. Um, at this point, you can do quite a lot of stuff with MLX. Um, so you can do inference for stable diffusion-like models. You can run large language models on device. Um, you can also fine-tune models uh, using LoRa, QLoRa. There's like all sorts of cool stuff that you can do with MLX um, and your MacBook. Um, you don't need like a cutting-edge MacBook for this, um, even like a simple uh, GPU poor <laughs> MacBook Air should do as well. Um, so they do have um, a repo called MLX examples, which has all sorts of different examples as I was, as I was talking about before. So you can do on-device Whisper, um, so Whisper powered by uh, MLX um, and so on as well. What we're gonna be focusing on in this um, short video is LLMs. And more specifically, this new thing called MLX LM. It's a package that they've created, which allows you to uh, seamlessly interact with um, all sorts of checkpoints that you see for Mistral, Llama, um, Phi2, and so on, um, all with just one package and two lines of code um, to run directly on your MacBook fully offline. All right, so without further ado, let's dive in. So I've got a I've got the repo cloned already. So let's quickly check if we're on the latest. We are. Um, cool. So now let's do, let's quickly go into the LLMs directory. And all right, let's create a quick virtual env. Um, and let's call it MLX LLM test. Um, ah, <laughs> sorry about that. Cool, so now let's activate this. And um, all right, so now let's install uh, the, the package, which is MLX LM. I had installed this before, so a lot of this is already cached. Um, so it's just installing it from scratch. Uh, sorry, from the cache, cool. Um, just so that we can get the pretty metrics whilst we infer these LLMs, let's install um, Acetop, which is another library to display power metrics, RAM usage, CPU usage, how much uh, power does it require, and so on. All right, so let's clear this over here. Let's go on the window on the side. Let's go to... my repo so it's oh, actually let's go here and all right let's go to lms and let's activate the mlx lm test uh, environment now let's do sudo as top. Hopefully this works. Let me put in my super secret password. <laughs> All right, perfect, we're in. So you can see over here that we have our GPU usage. Um, currently MLX only utilizes GPU because a &E API is not public. Um, so, you know, you cannot use um, uh, a &E directly with MLX right now, but hopefully that changes in the future. Um, all right, let's quickly run a pseudo purge. 
perfect awesome so now let's open up a shell and let's see how exactly can we interact with this package cool so the api looks quite simple you you essentially from mlxlm package that we installed using pip install mlxlm um, we import two functions load and generate and when you load you pass in on an hub identifier and um, you essentially get a model as well as tokenizer as return right and then you pass that over to this generate function and you pass a, a prompt along with it and a and you essentially get some sort of generation out. Sounds simple. Cool. Let's try this out. So let's do import, sorry, from MLX LM import load generate. All right. Sounds good. So now let's get the model and the tokenizer back equal to load. And what would we like to load? So um, let's try out one of the Mistral models. Let's go on the hub, hf.co. Let's go on Mistral AI, and let's specifically load the instruct v.2, which is the latest instruct uh, 7b model from them. Um, all right, so let's copy this and let's run so uh one of the best parts about this because um the mlxlm package directly interfaces with the hugging face hub if in past you've ever downloaded the mistral 7b instruct v0.2 weights before it would it, it would you wouldn't have to re-download these these weights it would directly load from the cache right and um, as you can see that the model's already been loaded uh in cache over here um so now what we got to do is generate so let's pass the model let's pass the tokenizer let's pass in a prompt and um hey hey what's popping <laughs> and we'll pass verbose equals true let's see what does this um Okay, all right. <laughs> it's funny that um, the model assumes uh, by, by default response as if this is some sort of a podcast, um, which actually makes sense because you would typically say this in a conversational manner. Nice. Um, so now let's let's see what all can you do actually with the with the generate function. So let's pass that. Uh, let's check the doc string. All right. So you can essentially set a temperature and you can set max number of tokens right uh, let's play around with the with the max tokens real quick um cool so let's say we do generate and we pass max actually let's actually let's play with the temperature let's make it a bit more creative so let's set this up to 0.8 so typically the the, the higher the temperature, the more creative the model would be, right? Uh, <laughs> so yes, like, it's been a minute since I've posted anything here. Uh, I've been off being a grandma. <laughs> um, oh, well, okay, this is not going well. Uh, but yeah, okay, so yeah, it, 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 took a, it took a rather dark turn, but all right. So um, as you can see, it's, it's, it's pretty easy, it's pretty chill to, to directly like load the model um and and just like start generating uh i have a 24 gig um macbook pro and it it roughly took about 18 to 19 uh, gigabytes of that uh, and i i don't think all of this is just the model i think um there was six to seven which was already used by system and so on um so yeah you can see that the, that, that you can pretty much use this with uh, with any um sub 15 gig uh macbook pro as well um, the best part about this is that you can also use quantize models, right? So let's try that out. Um, the API remains the same. You can essentially pass a four bit quantize model. Uh, you can also quantize the models using a conversion script, which is present over here. Um, so if you go over here, there is a, um, 
yeah so you can you can you can pass it um an edge of hub path and you can quantize it and it will directly quantize it to four bit you can also pass um what number of bit would you like it to quantize to so it could be two it could be four it could be eight and so on as well um let's actually try this out with the let's see if on mlx community which is a community repo um or organization for uh mlx models it has 377 uh org members let's see if someone has uploaded um some form of mlx community model um that we can use which is also quantized so maybe i can make this easier by directly searching because of the number of models mistral okay i do see some but are there any four bit? So there is a four bit instruct v zero point one. Let's see if this works. All right, let's do Python. I wonder if this works. All right, it works. So then, <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, let's try and load the model here. All right, it's gonna take a sec for it to load. I am currently traveling, hence the amount of time that it takes. Yeah, so while this loads, maybe we can take a minute and and, and, and just look at what else can you do, right? Um, so let's go back over here. Uh, so you can see that um, as of now, so we, we tried this out with a Mistral 7B example. However, you can you can use a Llama model. You can use Llama 7B, Llama 1, Llama 2. Um, you can use, um, you know, 13B, um, 7, all, all the way up to 70B, and also any of the, the fine tunes that the community has uploaded. So you can you can also try some, some new models like Yi, and of course, you can also use Phi 2 uh, and so on. So the, there's some some urls to the hub as to which all models can you can you uh, can you use with it so all you got to do is just um open the, the 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 page of the of the model copy its identifier and pass it into the load function and um, that's pretty much it right and once you um once you do that you you should pretty much be able to um load the models and uh, generate from it directly from your MacBook. Um, all right, so this is actually taking quite a lot of time. Um, I'm sorry for my slow internet. Uh, so I'm gonna cut this short, but it works pretty much the same way. I can maybe post a snippet later on. Um, but yeah, thank you for tuning in. And I would also add the add the same sort of instructions that I put in here um, into the tweet or the YouTube video. Feel free to look at it and see you around next time. Bye-bye.